everybody um so i know i bounce around a lot with my content like i have done video game videos before some of them are super popular some of them get like twenty thousand views some of them get two views um but <laughs> anyways this is design related uh i wanted to see what what you guys would think of some sims 4 content um you know like YouTube doesn't pay me anything. This is just like a hobby vlog for me. Odyssey pays me, but uh, but YouTube just you know. So all right, I'll stop rambling. Let's let's get on with this. Um, so this is something that uh, um, something that I really like about The Sims is, is um, doing design stuff, like doing architecture kind of stuff. Um, so uh what i wanted to show you was i have a few different uh designs where um we're in uh brindleton bay which is a uh, an expansion that came with uh cats and dogs and i've been slowly like bulldozing everything here and then replacing it with my own uh modern architecture um but uh it's just it's just a nice place um, so I'll show you a few attempts that I, that I did to try and kind of do this thing, which is like a modern, a modern design, uh, with a basement walkout. Um, so this is not, this is not actually technically a basement walkout. Um, but this is like, this is one way that you can sort of do something that looks like a basement walkout. Um, so these, this is like a, this is a row home design. Um, so I actually lived in a place, this was like the first, uh, the first like proper, the, the first house that I had that wasn't a, a condo. Uh, and I've lived in places like this most of my adult life. Like I'm a, I, I'm the president of my HOA right now and I live in a, another, uh, um, row home, you know, or um, townhome thing. I, I like places like this. But uh, anyways, so um, this is this is a very uh, common design that you would see. Like you see places like this all over the place in uh, in Denver, um, where I used to live. It's very very common. Uh, so. What they do is they will like gentrify an area or like, you know, do do development and then somebody will come in and they'll just kind of bulldoze a whole bunch of little bungalows and they'll build these like three story kind of things with basement walkouts. Uh, so the place that I lived in had something very similar to this, um, but this area, there wasn't a pool there. This was our common driveway. And then we had like our garages down here on the uh on the like basement level so you would have like a little office and then you know a connected garage that was under the um the the main house with a, a, a basement walkout and then the the side of the um of the house was a hill that was sloped up like this right so i really like that i like that a lot so I wanted to kind of replicate that in The Sims, but doing a basement walkout is very, very problematic in The Sims. And I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. I'll show you why. Um, so this was like my first attempt, and this is not a proper basement walkout. A proper basement walkout, you would have a door right here that goes out, and then that this area would be open, right? But this is one of one of my attempts. So, um, but that's one way that you can do it is you can raise up your foundation, and then you can kind of do you can use the uh, the terrain tool to um, make a like a hill around it. Uh, you can use this like flatten, or you can raise up the terrain using using the raised terrain tool around your building and then flatten it if you have this raised 
foundation. But the thing is, is that The Sims will not let you put windows onto a basement. Well, I have move objects on, so it technically it, it will, but if we put that on there, it's not going to show any light. There isn't going to be any light that comes through from that. So in order to do that, you have to actually do a proper um, cutout basement walkout, right? So let me show you another attempt. Um, back to Brindleton Bay. All right, so this is um, this is another uh, attempt to do a, a a different type of basement walkout. So you can see that this one similar design. Um, so you have the uh, the 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 first floor, the you know the the basement floor is going to have this is this is more like more like what you would actually see like kind of like the a lot of the the modern architecture going up around where i where i live um so this is like you you have these windows down here and then you know with the with the basement walkout there is a proper walkout there is a door there Right, it goes out into a little common area, a little convivial common area, right? And um, and then you have the little steps that go up to the first floor, and um, on the uh, on the first floor, you know, you're gonna have your open floor plan, kitchen, bath or kitchen, bathroom, and dining area. That's all just gonna be, you know, kind of open floor plan right and then you're gonna have your uh either like a bedroom you could you could have like a bedroom upstairs or you know like a little uh party room kind of like um common or i don't know yeah party room i guess so this is what oops, this is this is um a proper basement walkout right but this this is another thing that uh this is what this is the part that's problematic when you're doing basement walkouts in the sims right so if you if you looked up this video this is probably what what you've experienced in like part part of why you w are watching this video right is because when you do a a first floor like this and then you try to drop it into the ground you get these these little things here it won't let you just drop the building right into the ground, right? It makes this nasty gash along the side. So uh, what, I, what I've done is tried my best to hide the little gash. Uh, so one thing that you can do is hide it, you know, with shrubs like that and uh, little half walls like these um but uh in fact i could make i could make these a little taller even um let's see if i do a half wall to hide that a little better there that looks good Um, just to, you know, hide that, that nasty gash thing, right? Um, so, you know, that, that looks pretty good. Like that, that really, that really does hide it well. And then, but you have to go around and then you have to, uh, put these little shrubs, like all around, all along the sides. And then I think that I did turn move objects on to get these to uh, basically to just line the whole thing, the whole sides with shrubs so that um, the uh, so that it would hide the, that gash thing better. And also to make this little um, 
entry thing, you, you can't, um, you can't connect this. Like, there might be, there might be a way, like, in fact, let me just try that real quick. There might be a workaround, um... Hmm. Okay, that actually works. So yeah, like it it doesn't want to let you um, connect this. Like it doesn't want to let you put a little wall in there to hide that. So what you can do is you can just draw like a single little wall and then you can select it and um, you can you can move it uh, just kind of finagle it into position right there, right? To kind of hide that. Um, hide that little spot. And then I can, you know, leave the shrubs in here to uh, to hide that. But that's, that's still kind of clipping a little bit, but that looks better. Um, so that's that's another way that you can do it, right? Um, but it's still not an actual proper basement walkout. Um, oops, put that on the wrong side. Uh, I have to do it. I have to do it now. Now that I'm doing it. Yeah. So okay. Now after I put that in there, then it wants to cut out this little gash thing right here so you know it's 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 problematic right um doing a little stupid basement walkout in in, uh, in the sims so um let me show you there's there's one other way right um i can show you or i can show you another one that kind of maybe does another uh, a little bit better uh, job of hiding the um, oh maybe I don't have that one here uh, yeah I have to I have to grab that one off the gallery okay so there's another one that uh, uses that similar kind of trick to hide things, but it does a little bit better job of it. Um, yeah, this one, you can barely even see it. Uh, like you can, you can hardly see it at all. Any of that little, um, that gash thing. And this is actually like a really kind of successful design um for uh my sims the ones that actually live in this they just love to do like figure eights around here um like they they go you know they go in here up the stairs uh you know around and then up here and, and around and around and they just they love they love this uh these townhomes so this is another design, and then this, um, you know, I I would love to live in a place like this, um, but this this place has like possibly eight eight bedrooms, eight full baths, and uh, four half baths, and then these little I really like these little common kind of convivial areas uh, that like force people to interact, you know, like. They can grill out, or they can uh, they can go swimming <laughs> down here. Um, so, but this this what this does is it hides all of the um, it hides all of the little gashes with like either stairs or privacy hedges or just these little hedges, right? This is actually 
one of, this is my most successful or sorry my most popular uh download on the gallery too um so but these this this just you know it does a, a much better job of hiding it because um the the the, the angles are a little bit cleaner so it's a little bit easier to hide um, so, you know, again, that's, that's another way that you can do a basement walkout. And I'm going to show you how, how I like kind of step by step, um, how to do this. I just wanted to show you some of these designs first. Um, so anyways, yeah, there's a, there's one more, or this is like kind of, this is a, another way to do a proper basement walkout. I'll show you a couple couple more designs really quick. Bear with me. Okay, so here we have another proper basement walkout. And this is the real deal. This, But this is much more problematic in The Sims because The Sims just does not want to let you do this. There are some workarounds to it, though. Um, so... We'll get into it, but this is this is the you know like the final kind of proper basement walkout um, townhome design. <laughs> uh, so you know again like I love this kind of architecture. I love living in places like this. Uh, I wish that we had a little swimming pool. Well, maybe not a swimming pool, but something something like this. You know, like where I live now. Um, but I love these kind of designs. Uh, but this is, you know, this is another one that has, um, this is actually inspired by the townhomes that are across the street from me, because I just think they're really attractive. Um, but yeah, you know, you've got your little common, like your little rooftop deck kind of party area thing. You've got your, your bedrooms and full bath. Like this one, I think this one only has, oh no, it does have two full bedrooms, two, two full baths and a half. Um, but this is, you know, a, a, a proper basement walkout townhome kind of concept with a common area. But this is the thing that the, the Sims just does not want to let you do is cut out the top off of a basement and, um, uh, do uh, things like this, where this is the ground floor, and then the uh, the cutout thing is what's really hard to do, or it's it's it just doesn't want to let you do it. So I'll show you uh, one other design just real quick, in case you're not into townhomes. You don't like townhomes. You're, you're weird. You like cutting grass and you like, um, you know, doing all that stuff by yourself. Um, so this is another little design that I did that's more private, but still kind of uses the, um, the basement walkout thing. Cause I just love, I, I love, uh, basement walkouts. Um, so again, you know, modern design, um, this is... This is um, my witch house. Um, a lot of my sims are into their their magic uh, casters, um, just because it's a lot of fun to play a caster in uh, in the Sims. But um, yeah, so uh, my witch lives here, and then she uh, is into like botany and gardening and you know potion making and all that but she has some privacy down here to do her uh, uh, potion stuff and like flower arranging and all that right uh, and again you know this one has like two full bathrooms or two and a, two and a half bathrooms and then this one is kind of an afterthought and then maybe like her daughter lives up here I guess uh, but yeah, like, again, you know, I really like the, these kind of modern design, like clean lines, 
And then I love the uh, the basement walkout, and I love the loft thing with lots and lots of light. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's the last one. So now I want to show you how, how you actually do this, right? So we'll back out and we'll go to a fresh lot. Okay, so here we've got this uh, small lot, you know, and I'm just... I've been bulldozing everything in Brendleton Bay anyways, so I'm just gonna go ahead and bulldoze it. Um, I do want to live in this place. So nice. Um, <clears throat> so, okay. If we're gonna do a basement walkout, right? Um, here's, here's, the, here's the things that are problematic when you try to build these, right? So you've got your your first floor, and then this you, um, we can put a basement in, right? So here's our basement, and here's our first floor. Um, if we try to r r raise the basement up, then then this happens. You get this like foundation, this like exposed foundation. And even if you have move objects on, um, you still, it still doesn't want to let you put a window in there. It just won't let you do it. Um, yeah. Or, or let's see, huh? I guess that kind of works. Did I just figure out how to do that? No, no, that's that. It doesn't even show. It doesn't even show. It doesn't show on the outside, but somehow it's letting light in. So I guess that's a trick with move objects, but it doesn't. It doesn't show on the outside, so that's not good enough. <laughs> um. So and then uh, if you um if you try to drop it down. Right. If you try to, um, uh, I'm just gonna pull this everything again. If you try to uh, do a first floor, which will let you put windows on it, you know, of course, uh, and then um, drop that down into the ground. Then you get these, um, you get these things, these trenches along the sides, right? So the one, th the one thing that you can do is you can put the, uh, you can put hedges in around it. And this will, this is even like a base game without, uh, move objects on. You can still, in fact, okay. I'll just I'll just turn move objects off. Uh, okay, so move objects is off, right? It'll even let me do it. It'll even let me put the little shrubs in there with move objects off. Which, you know, I mean, there's something to be said for that because with move objects on, sometimes you can have things where uh, things can collide and like your sins will tell you that they can't go somewhere or something because something's in the way and then you can't even see it. You don't know what it is. Um, so, but that's that's one way to, you know, hide that little edge. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can do a half gable roof, and this is I don't like this. Um, I think this is just it's it doesn't look it doesn't look very good to me, um, but it does it does hide the. Um, uh, it does hide it, right?
Um, so we take off the, uh, the little edges of the roof and then we resize it so that it's, uh, put it up here. We resize it so that it's one square wide and then however many high your, uh, your, your floor is. And then you can drop that in. Uh, I have to, I have to turn, turn move objects back on. Okay. So you can drop that in. Um, Oh, it doesn't even want to let me do it now. You can drop that in and then it will hide the, um, hide that edge. But then if you put windows on it, um, Yeah, it doesn't even want to let me make that high enough to actually uh, do that. But then if I if I put windows on here, then when I go inside, what I see is the uh, the roof showing through, right? So that's not good enough. <laughs> um, so, uh, but. You can you can do like a pretty good job of uh, of hiding these depending on what you you know what you do because like you can hide these um, uh, the like the transitions the um, the in between floors with stairs and stuff and then you know like if you if if um, they're going straight up to the floor like this, then it does hide it. Um, the one the one build that I had where it, it had the platform there, that was because there was a, uh, like a patio kind of thing. That was why it didn't want to like, connect. And then you know you can you uh, you can do like one of these where. Um, you can like twist the stairs and stuff. Uh, come on. Yeah, there. Um, It's not high enough, but um, you know, you, you, it it does a pretty convincing job of hiding that little edge. And then if I drop in some some shrubs uh, along there, then um, then that looks really good. And I do have move objects back on, but you don't need that. You don't need to have that on to to do this. So that does a pretty convincing, you know, uh, um, does a pretty convincing job of hiding it, right? So, but there is a way. Uh, there's a way to do a proper basement walkout. Um, you just need to get a little bit more creative. Um, so this is the thing that I really struggled with when I was doing these because I just couldn't figure it out. Um, somebody, I was, uh, I watched, there's other videos on YouTube, but, um, mine's better. Uh, 
so what we can do is we we drop in our basement right and then um what what it doesn't want to let you do is if you draw a basement it doesn't uh and then you try to uh well maybe actually oh i guess it does <laughs> um it doesn't when you it, it, um it's not very intuitive how they do that uh like usually if you want to if you want to take out a floor you can just take out a floor right or you can draw it in um so it you know it should be like that right where you can just draw in a floor and then uh just put that in but they don't want to they don't want you to do that um I th so i don't i don't know what the what why they why they don't want to let us be so creative in the sims uh so what i'm what i'm gonna do is i'm going to just drag this basement out right and then it, it doesn't it doesn't want to just let me remove the floor um but if i if i go over here to this edge and then highlight the edge and then say remove ceiling oh, wait, I'm, gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a, a wall in right here where i want it yeah um what what we can do is just click on this part on the side and then it gives you the option of removing the ceiling so you can have your little uh drop down walkout basement privacy you know thing and then you can even like if you want to you can even put um a pool down in your basement like on the the do a, a basement basement a sub sub floor um so you know like you you can you can do that if you want and like you can or you could put a pool up on like this level and then if you have move ob if you have move objects on then you can even uh put like windows going out to your pool like that so that's a pretty cool thing you know like if you wanted to have like a little underground whatever layer uh and then have like a swimming pool you know where you can see the um uh see people swimming i guess um but you know like there's all kinds of cool stuff that you can do with that like doing the the basement walkout or um with move objects and then putting um putting floors in and stuff like that so oh i forgot i bulldozed that floor but that's the um that's the trick is that you have to you know draw in your basement uh, and then go along the side. Oops. Uh, draw in your basement. And then you click here on the side, on this little part right here that lights up. And then you remove the ceiling. So it took me forever to figure, to find that out. I had to watch somebody else's video to figure it out. But, um, but yeah, I hope that, um, helps you out, and I hope that you guys do your own drop-down basement, and, or walk-out basement, <laughs> and, um, I hope you guys, uh, enjoy doing some Sims content. Uh, let me know if it's something that you guys are interested in. I, I know that, uh, I mostly do, like, painting and stuff on the channel, but... I, I do love The Sims, like, I play a lot of this game, I really enjoy it, so let me know if you want to see more of this stuff, and I will see you in the next one, take care guys.